Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I just woke up, so I'm like, bleh, my voice is all crackly. But, Michaela, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for joining. Make sure to subscribe at the button down below. And we're going to be doing this makeup look today, so let's just get right into it. First, we're going to prime our lids with the Stay Naked Concealer from Ember Decay. This is shade 40 and N. You guys know I love using concealer as an eyeshadow base, so I wanted to see how this one performed. If you haven't seen my first review on the whole collection, you can hit the eye on the screen right now. Today we're going to be using ColourPop Single Shadows. I have a Build Your Own palette, so I'm going to be using that. This is Try Me, and I'm taking it in with a Luxie blending brush. And I'm going to be popping that all in the crease, just building it up as purple as I can get it. It's such a pretty color. It's like a true purple, and I just love... Purple is my favorite color, so this shadow is so good. Like, purple eyeshadows are hard to come by, and this one's a good one. And I've been using this brush a lot too. It's so good for blending out in like precise areas. This is a Morphe B18, I believe. I'm not sure if they sell this anymore, but I really, really like this brush and I really prefer this brush whenever I need to blend out the darkest part of a cut crease. And then we're going in with this vibrant pressed pigment powder from ColourPop. This is a Shambar. Shambar. It's a I can't even say it. What? Shade Sandbar. <laughs> and we're going to be blending out the purple with this. I'm just taking no product on this brush and blending out Sandbar because I would, you have to go really lightly in with this one because it's super pigmented because it is a pressed pigment and it did stain my eyelids. So be careful with it. And then we're going to take our Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. This is still the shade for 40 and N. And we're going to do our cut crease like I normally do. Just look up and then you got your cut crease and you just fill it in. So I really like this as um, to use this cut crease. It's very pigmented. It doesn't dry down too much. So the shadow that I put on top really stuck to it. So definitely check this concealer out because it's actually impressing me in all aspects that I use concealer. And then we're going in with Solstice with the Mostis. It's like a pink. It reminds me of Slave to Pink in the like Super Shock form. It's pink. It's like a really neon pink. But then I got these blue, like it's a blue shift to it. And it's so pretty. I'm using the Sigma Cream Color Brush. I'll look, list everything down below that I'm using. And you guys like this pink. I don't really like pink, but this type of pink, I dig it. Because boy, look how pretty that pink is. And I just wanted to use it in the cut crease. I was I, I just saw it and I was like, yes, girl. Yes. And by the way, I always see Mandy doing pink and purple looks. A more beauty MUA on Instagram. So I just I had to throw one in here for you guys. I never did a pink and purple look, at least for a long time. Then we're gonna go back into Try Me and blend out them edges of the cut crease and build up the quarter a little bit and chisel out that cut crease. Cause why not? I'm using the Sigma Waterline brush. I love this brush for this. And of course the lower lash line and to put cream on my waterlines like cream pencils and stuff. I've been doing that lately so check out this brush because it's, it's popping. And then we're going to get that wing with my favorite liner, the Urban Decay Perversion Eye Pen. It is waterproof, very black, does not dry out, and you can get the best wing with it. I love this eyeliner, y'all. Like, it's so good. And it's one of those brush tips. It's not a felt tip. It's actually a brush tip. So, this liner is worth it. It's so worth it. Pop on them lashes. These are from my girl jasmine carter and then we're going to go down 
on our lower lash line after I done did the prime and did, did my concealer and stuff, we're gonna go in with Try Me and use that brush that I was telling y'all about, the Morphe B18, and we're going to pop some purple on my lower lash line. And we're gonna take the same brush and blend it out with Sandbar. Just blend it out, and these shadows, blend out so well you guys like I love ColourPop single shadows like they have ultra glitters pressed glitters match shimmers metallics duochromes everything satins they have so many shadows I really suggest you watch for promotions about the build your own palette this is piggy bank cream gel liner from ColourPop and I'm also putting that in my waterline just to make it all cohesive and then we're gonna take on a whimsy and pop that in our inner corner I really want to do a whole makeup look around this shade because I never do silver I'm always a gold girl so I want to do some silver on to the face we're taking touch and so no pore bone primer you see how much I've used of this stuff and that just tells you how much I love it and then we're taking the Pure Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is the shade TG4. So I was like wowed by this foundation. It's very full coverage, but it goes a long way. And it's very, very, very lightweight. And I wore it for about five hours that night because I was like doing like some stuff for Halloween. And you guys, look how much it covers. And look at that color match. Like Pure did send me this from Octoly. But you guys, I, I would I would have bought this foundation because I, I was so interested to see what it was about. I'm using the Ofra um, Puff Sponge or whatever. I don't know the actual name of it, but it's from Ofra. But this concealer, I mean, this foundation is popping. That's all I got to say. So we're using the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in this shade Deep. And you guys, this, oh, this brush is like... 10% off with the code bake with K10. It's the Sigma F79. It's for concealers. It's concealer kabuki, but I love to use it for contouring if you didn't know. But this powder made my contour look so natural. Like this this shade. Look at my cheeks when I turn it to the side. Like, oh my gosh, I love my freaking cheeks with this powder. I've been missing out on this powder for real. And for blush, we're going with Revolution Makeup Peachy King Baked Heart Blush. And we're going to pop that on our cheeks. I just wanted something light, something a little bit glowy, and something peachy. And for highlight, we're going with the Anastasia Dream Palette. I'm not saying the shade, but it's the purple one. That shirt turns pink. So this palette was so, like, bomb for this look. And this shade is so pretty. I was feeling myself. I highlighted everywhere. I should have stopped a long time ago. I have found my new favorite lip liners. These are the NYX Lip Suede um, pencils. I love the lip suede, period. But these, these pencils, they are bomb. They're matte, they're creamy, and they don't budge. They are. This is shade Daybreak Beauty, I think, or something. I'll link it down below. But I really love these freaking pencils. I am obsessed. And we're going to be using the Galani Semi Matte Lipstick. This is the shade Dopsip. And I love this lip. This lip combo is popping. I need to use like an Aubrey type of lip more. I'm sorry I sound congested because I kind of am. But this is the finished look, y'all. I love this look. This is probably one of my favorite makeup looks I've ever done. It's so pretty. Let me know if you want me to do more pink and purple looks. Purple, pu -pu 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 -pu. <laughs> And I will do so, and I will see you in my next video.